How you doing guys, Stevie here. Today I'm going to be tying an orange and white booby. It's a booby I do well with fishing at depth. Uh, usually does well in the dice 7 and stuff like that. I suppose it'll work higher up as well, but it's one of, it's probably an old type booby, but it still works good just now. So on the vise I've got the Fario uh, wet fly hook, barbless size 10, the bronze one. The thread I'll be using is fluorescent fire orange. So we'll get started. So we'll run a bit of thread down the hook. Just down to the bend, just the usual. And trim off the waist. And for the tail, I've got white marabout. So just take a pinch of that. Just roll it a bit with your fingers. And Cut the light, cut off the end, just pull off the fluff there, and just tie this down. So, pinch and loop. Very simple fly to tie, and just come back down again. So, that's a, a tie fly is to international size, so just give us a pinch, four finger, and thumb. And just pull away with the other two. And for the body, I'm going to use this fluorescent orange chenille. There's a gold tint through this. I can't mind where I got it from. I think it was a Glasgow, England centre. So I'll just expose the coat and tie that in. And just do that to bit there. Make sure you're not trapping any of the marabou and just wind this on. Let us see, this is a very simple fly to tie. Just like an orange white cat's whisker. But I do well with us fishing this at depth. So just take that there, come across. Just tie it in a couple of times. Trim off the waist. and tidy up and what I've got here I'm going to put a little hackle on it this is a fluorescent orange crystal crystal hackle from Hairline so it's good, it's nice tying all the good stuff but you've got to tie the, the ugly stuff like this as well if you want to catch fish So, this has been working quite well for me at the Lake and Teeth recently. Fished on the Dye 7. So, two turns with us. And tie that in. Trim off the waist. Just tie everything back. And again for the wing, just get another pinch of the marabout. Just tear that off. Just play about with your fingers, just get roll it about in your fingers. Go off the tips and just take the fluff off the end. Just tie that in. And same again, just pinch the same length as the tail. So you can finish that fly off at that. Make a cat's whiskers, good wee pulling fly. A wee fly for back in the probably 80s, early 90s. These flies still work. But what we're going to do is put a booby tube on. So what I've got here is Five, five mil tubes. So get the old scissors for this. Just cut them in half, and just tie this on half in the middle. So one, two, three, and tie it in at the front. And then one, two, three. 
and tie it in the front. And get your flat finish tool. Oops. Missing that. Try again. There we go. And trim off the waste. And I'll need to take this off the vise to trim it. So just trim around the eyes, make sure they're both of the same size. Just spin the fly around. So there we go, so we'll stick that back in the vise. We'll give it a varnish, so I'll turn the vise upside down. And just clean the eye with a hook. So that's it guys, that's the uh, orange and white booby. The uh, cat booby works well at depth as I says. Had a nice five pounder on that last night and hope you enjoyed that one. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.